Hello. Our fairly unsettled spell of July weather is set to continue. More rain on the cards over the next few days. Let's take a look at the expected accumulations. And you can see blue colours really across the map. So we're all going to see a little bit of rain between Tuesday and Thursday. This is probably the wettest spots. Parts of eastern Scotland, northeast England, we could see more than 60 millimetres on top of the highest ground. And it's not their usual rescue mission. But teams in Cornwall have saved an ice cream van after it was swept out to sea. Yeah, there it is. Oh. Padstow, Padstow Coast Guard rescue team and RNLI lifeguards were sent to Harlin Bay near Padstow in Cornwall at around about five o'clock on Sunday afternoon. This was after the vehicle was caught by the rising tide. The good news is the driver was not in the vehicle at the time. A lot of ice cream was, though. <laughs> And all the tasty contents <laughs> have been lost to the waves. Oh, dear. Yeah. I might swim in that, though. I'd like to go out for a swim. It's like get free ice cream. Yeah, Miss, all right. Mr, Mr. Whippy, Mr. <laughs> soggy, Drippy. Soggy, soggy Mr. Whippy, Mr. I, Drippy, yeah. I think... Carol, good morning to you. There's a, good morning. A, it's, it's nice behind you, but it's looking quite grey. It's rainy where we are here. How's everyone else doing? No, I can see an ice cream oh. van, actually, floating away behind you. <laughs> Oh, good morning, everybody. It is going to be another soggy day today. As Sarah rightly said, we've already got some rain. That rain is moving northwards. It's heavy and persistent. Behind it, though, it is going to turn more humid. Who is by a lovely stretch of the River Thames for us this morning. You see swimmers in the background, uh, Nina. Looks gorgeous, uh, but lots of concerns, aren't there, about the health of our rivers? There are. Um, this is a beautiful spot, though, Sarah. Good morning to you. We are a bit about a mile or so just down the river from Twickenham that way. We have here uh, the Teddington Blue Tits. Morning, guys. We've got Ruth, uh, Rebecca, Rita. Uh, Simon's gone off somewhere. Oh, there he is. Morning, Simon. Having a lovely time, um, but of course the state of the river and sewage within the river was a key election issue. Morning. Yeah. Scarf, Good morning. Good morning. mittens, coat. <laughs> A polar bear nicked my scarf earlier, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it has been cold, hasn't it? You know, today we're a country of two halves. This is a picture from Shetland, taken a wee bit earlier this morning. We've got some sunny intervals, but look at this. This is more reminiscent of what a lot of us are going to see today in Sleaford in Lincolnshire. Rain. You know, it makes me feel like autumn's on the way. I think I know what you're going to say. I'm looking out the window. I'm looking at Carol. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Good morning both. Good morning to you too. You wouldn't be far wrong actually, John. Today we've got some heavy rain which is pushing northwards, but it's also leaving behind it a lot of muggy conditions. Not so in Aviemore, it's a fresh five degrees for you to start the day. Aldergrove 12, but Southampton the temperature currently is a sticky 18 degrees. The other thing worth mentioning is the pollen level today, lower moderate for most, but high across Wales. But uh, Carol's been telling us we all need to have a brolly today. We're going to end up looking like Rishi Sunak. Morning. <laughs> Absolutely right. There's lots of rain in the cards today, John. Good morning, everyone. In fact, for the rest of this week, it's going to remain unsettled. There'll be further rain at times. We've seen quite a deluge already this morning. OK, thanks, Carol. I heard the word sunshine. I'm going to take that as my headline from your, uh, from your weather report. <gasps> Yikes! Take your brolly as well. <laughs> <laughs>